A thin metallic wire having cross sectional area 10 raised to minus 4 meter square is used to make a ring of radius 30 cm. A positive charge of 2 pi coulomb is uniformly distributed over the ring, while another positive charge of 30 pi coulomb is kept at the center of the ring. The tension in the string is provided that the string does not get deformed. So what is given here, see, here we have ring which is charge and on this ring, right, of radius r, 2 pi coulomb charge is distributed. The total charge distributed is 2 pi coulomb and on the center of this ring, a 30 pi coulomb charge is placed. Now let us assume a very small part of the ring, but to make it more visualized, I have taken a big part. So actually it is a, a zoomed version of a very small part. So let us assume this is a very small part, right? So let us assume a very small charge dq is consisted by this arc of length dl. Okay, then lambda is equals to dq by dl or dq is equals to lambda dl that we will use later. Now what is happening? This dq charge which is here in this arc will get repelled by this charge according to the Coulomb repulsive force, right? Because both are positive. So they will repel. And as this ring is not getting deformed means uh, the part of the ring which is very near to this charge uh, part of the ring will try to pull this backward. Okay, right. So let us assume the ring is getting deformed like this. The ring is getting deformed like this. Actually, it is not getting deformed, right? But something is there which is preventing this ring to get deformed. Means the tension in the string will try to bring this part backward, back, right? And hence the tension is providing sufficient force to keep it in the in shape. Okay. So now let us try to find out the component of this uh, tension. Now let us assume this dl part of the ring subtend angle d theta at the center. Right now this d theta can be divided, this arc can be divided into two parts. So this angle is called d theta by 2, the whole angle is d theta. So this part of the angle is called d theta by 2. Now the tension is along the tangent. Right, the tension is tangential to the ring, right? And we want the components of the tangent, uh, component of the tension. So one component is in this direction, which is T cos d theta by 2. And one component is vertically downward, which is T sine d theta by 2. Now, why I have taken this d theta by 2 here? See, if this is the arc, which subtends an angle here, d theta by 2. If you see this alternate angle, so the same angle will be subtended here. So this is also d theta by 2, right? Now, if you see this part, if you uh, see this part, then this is 90 degree, right? Because this is a radius and this is a tangent. So this is 90. So this part, this part of the angle is 90 minus d theta by 2. It is 90 minus d theta by 2. Okay, so this part is 90 minus d theta by 2. Now again, you can see these two are perpendicular. So if this part is 90 minus d theta by 2, then this part of course is d theta by 2 because the whole angle is again 90, right? So that's why if this is the tension, then this component of the tension is t cos d theta by 2. Two. Similarly, here you can take same component T cos d theta by 2 because this is a angle d theta by 2. Okay, so this T cos d theta by 2 and T cos d theta by 2 will cancel each other. Now, this component T sin d theta by 2 and T sin d theta by 2 on the either side of the arc will balance this electrostatic force. Okay, so I hope you have understood this figure so that we will use here. So here I have written t sin d theta by 2, t sin d theta by 2. If you add them, then it becomes 2 t sin d theta by 2 and that is a very small electrostatic force, uh, right? Uh, sorry, this is a tension force which is uh, on this arc, okay? And uh, this tension force balances the electrostatic force which is given by Coulomb's equation k q1 q2 by r square. So here k, I have written here k and dq is the small charge present on this ring and q0 which is the charge which is present at the center divided by r square where r is the distance of this small charge from the center that is the radius of the ring. Now for very small angle we can omit this sine theta. So for sine theta we can write theta and sine d theta by 2 we can directly write d theta by 2. So it becomes 2t d theta by 2 is equals to k k then here it is q0 so q0 by r square. Now dq we can write it as lambda dl right that we have discussed earlier. So 
and it is a linear charge density right so dq can be written as lambda dl now here uh, 2 and 2 will get cancelled so it is t d theta is equals to k q naught by r square now lambda it is given it is already given in uh, in this one uh, in this question lambda is equals to what is given lambda is equals to 2 pi by 2 pi r so it is 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled how it is given that the 2 pi charge because lambda is equals to total charge by length so the total charge distributed is 2 pi and the length of the ring is 2 pi r so it is 2 pi by 2 pi r so here 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled r r get cancelled d theta d theta get cancelled so tension will be k q naught by r square so therefore t is equals to now just put the value of k here it is 9 into 10 raised to 9 then q naught which, which is charge present at the center it is 30 pi co coulomb that is 30 into 10 raised to minus 12 and the radius is 30 centimeter means it is 0 0.3 meter and it is r square so 0 0.3 square if you solve this you will get tension is equals to 3 newton so your answer is 3.